Hi all. Today let's see how we can create an Angular application made of standalone components in a single spa application. So first let's create a single spa root config. So for that I am making use of the create single spa utility. So the utility asks for the directory in which the new project needs to be created. So I am selecting the current directory. I am creating the root config using npm, no typescript and I am using the layout engine and the organization name I am giving as app. So the root config has been created and all the dependencies have been installed. So you can see the source folder which consists of the root config. Now let's go ahead and create two angular applications. So for this again I make use of the utility. So here I select the application angular. I am naming it as angular app one. I selected the router and it is started installing the dependencies. So here it is asking whether we should proceed with the single span angular installation. So I am selecting yes. So here I am making use of angular 15 in my current application. So I am selecting the port as 4200. And our angular application has been created. So just for safety we will go inside the angular application and do a npm install once more since some packages can be missing during the initial installation. And from Angular 15 onwards, the environments won't be added by default. So if you go to our Angular application, you can see that there is no environments folder here, but the single spa template which is created, it actually consists of a reference to the environment. So we need to create the environment. So for that we can make use of the CLI NGG environments. The environments have been added. So here within the folder we can just add the key production and set it as true for the production file and for the development we can make it as false. So once we have done this, we can go to the package.json and we can run this command that is serve So now the application will be served on port 4200 and we can continue with the creation of the second angular application again using the same method we need to make a minor change within our routing module so the changes are that first we need to add a route within the routes array so i have given the component as empty route component which is already generated by the cli and one more thing is that we need to add the app base href and use the value slash. So once we have done that, we are ready and we can proceed with the creation of our second application. So the second Angular application has also been created and I have named it as Angular App 2. So now both the applications are running, one on port 4200 and other on 4201. So now let's make some changes within the index.ejs. So first we need to enable zone.js since it is an angular application and here we can remove the template that's a default application which is defined within the import map and here we can give our angular application name so since the application is running on 4200 we can give that and we can give the main.js as well. So the same thing we can copy and 
give it as angular 2 and the port number 4201. So now we are ready within the index.ejs. Now we need to create a mapping in the layout.html. So here again I am removing the default one and I am giving the angular 1 application as the default. So here I am giving the mode as hash so that we will make use of the hash location. We can also add the route for our other application that is the second application and I have given it as angular 2 for the route and given the name of the application and by default it will be the angular 1 which will be loaded. So once we do this we can start our main application. So we can use the npm start command to serve the application on port 9000. So our application is up and running. So by default the angular app 1 will be loaded and I have made some slight modification in the HTML so that when we click on this particular button it will be redirected to the second application. So I am going to click it. So now you can see that the second angular application has been loaded and you can see two main.js files have been downloaded. Now again when I click on the app 2 it will navigate back to the app 1 and you can see the route location changing here. Now let's get to the main point that is we will be converting the second angular application into a standalone application. So how can we do that? So we can go to the angular 2 application and within the main single spa.ts we need to make some changes. So by default you can see that the single spa angular helper it accepts or it makes use of the platform browser dynamic which needs an app module but in the case of standalone applications we won't have any modules so first what we need to do is we need to go to our app component and we need to make the component as a standalone and then we need to add the imports which are needed by the component so since we are making use of the ng switch here we can import the common module or even we can import the necessary directives alone but in this case I am making use of the common module itself and here we have the router outlet also so we can import the router outlet directive which is also standalone so now we no longer need the app module so we can remove that and now we can go to our single spa main single spa.ts we can remove the import and here we can replace the platform browser dynamic with a function called bootstrap application where we can provide the app component as the parameter so we can import that as of now let's comment these statements now the bootstrap application will accept a second parameter that is the providers so here we can define the environment providers which are needed so this is a array so first we need to import this particular providers so these are a set of providers which are imported by the single spy itself so first we can give that next we will be needing our routing so we can copy this provider we can import the references and next we can copy the path so in angular 15 there is a new method called provide router so we inside that we can provide the routes so that is a array so once we do that we no longer need our 
app routing module so we can safely remove that as well so now let's see whether our application actually works let us refresh our application so this is the angular 1 application now when we click on the angular 2 application you can see that the angular 2 application is also loading and it is working as previously so let us make sure that the updates have reached within our application so we can search for our single spa angular so here you can see that within the single spa angular we are making use of the new bootstrap application and all the routes are available here itself so ideally we have converted our second angular application into a application consuming only standalone components so this is how we can integrate standalone components in angular within a single spa application hope you found this video useful see you soon thank you